I'm going to show you how you can set up logon auditing for Active Directory so that you can track successful and failed logon attempts, which are then recorded in the security event log within the event viewer. So to start, I'm on my domain controller, and then I'm going to open up tools and then group policy management. Within here, we can create a new GPO and call this audit policy. And then once we've got our new GPO, we can right click and edit. And then under computer configuration, we can go to policies, windows settings, security settings, and then advanced audit policy configuration. Within the advanced audit policy configuration, we can drill down to audit policies and then log on slash log off. And then here we've got a handful of options that we can configure. The main two that you'll want to do is audit log on. And then you'll want to configure the following audit events and then select successful and failure. What this will do is whenever a logon event happens, so when someone tries to log in and they either successfully log in or they put a incorrect password in or the logon fails, it will log an event to the event viewer, which we can then monitor for at a later date. What we also want to do is enable the audit account lockout. So if an account gets locked out, it will notify us by logging an event in the event viewer that an account is locked out or someone has tried to log in with a locked out account. And then we can again monitor that for a later date. Now, something to be aware is that these two options or these options in here are logged on the local workstation that the account attempts to log into. So if someone tries to log into on a Windows PC, these events will get logged in the event viewer on that local PC. Now, what we can also do is come to account logon and then enable the credential validation and the Kerberos events. So this will then also log an event on the domain controller that gets the authentication request. So if someone tries to log in and fails, it will be logged also on the domain controller that a logon attempt has been failed. So I will come to the credential validation and then just enable and then set success and failure. And then also for the Kerberos authentication service, enable success and failure. And then again in the service ticket operations, will enable success and failure. So for the time being, that's all we want. Now you can go through and check these other options out to see if that's something you also want to monitor. However, for the scope of this guide, we'll just focus on audit logon and the user account logout, as well as the Kerberos and credential validation. So now we've got our group policy, our audit policies, we need to apply this. As this is an audit one, I would recommend just dragging it over your entire domain and linking it at the top of the domain and then right clicking and enforcing it so that if any machines have the inheritance for group policy disabled, it will just override and it will get this as well. So now we've got this, normally you would just leave this and then after a day or two or a couple of hours, the clients and service will check in and get the latest update. However, I'm just going to run GP update just so I can force this to update quickly. So now we've updated the group policy on our domain controller and then I will just come to a Windows 11 client and on my Windows 11 client, I will also do a GP update just so it forces the latest policy so we can do some testing. Now this is updated, I will just log off and then we can log back in for a demo. So now to actually test this, if I log in to my domain account, but if I put in a bad password, it will say the username or password is incorrect, try again. And then if I actually log in, it will then go through. And then now if we check the event viewer, in theory, those attempts should be logged, and then we can see, hopefully, that we have an audit failure and an audit success. So there we go, we've got our user account name Danny, unknown username or bad password, and then we can see our audit failure, which we then logged into with the correct username and password. So we can see that the event, the event ID 4625 has been logged anytime an audit failure occurs. So if we wanted to monitor for logon failures, we just monitor for this event ID and that will notify us any time of a login failure. Now, obviously this was on the Windows 11 computer. However, if I come back to my domain controller and then if I also open up the event viewer in the domain controller and then come to Windows logs and then security, we should see somewhere along the lines an audit failure, which is here. Now this is for the Kerberos authentication service. So the Kerberos pre-authentication failed. So all this event is, is saying that the user account AD backslash Danny has essentially tried to authenticate. The authentication has failed, and then it has logged it on whatever domain controller said that authentication ticket. 
Now, if you've got multiple domain controllers, these logs aren't synchronized, so you might get a failure on one domain controller and not the others, because obviously only one domain controller will respond to the Kerberos ticket. So if you wanted to, you could set up an event monitor for event ID 4771, and then that will just notify you anytime someone fails to log on. Now that is how you can use group policy to monitor for failed logon attempts in Active Directory.